Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, um, and thank you for watching. I have uh, my weekly wax melts for you today. Um, I apologize if my voice comes in and out. I've been sick. I've had some upper respiratory virus or, or some issues and it triggered my asthma and I haven't been able to record any hauls because I haven't been able to talk. I've been out of breath. But um, I'm starting to feel better, so let me get into this before um, I lose my voice again. <clears throat> so I melted a uh, chunk of this Sassy Girl Aroma Orange Whip Satsuma Blueberry Lemon Lime Fizzy Pop. This was good. It was really nice. It was fresh. Um, it was, you know, it's been hot and then cold and then hot and then cold. So I put this on in my bedroom. Oh, it smells really good. Um, I love anything with Fizzy Pop. I put it on in my bedroom on one of the days it was kind of warmer here, um, even though I've been mostly all about fall lately. Um, and it was good. It was okay. Um, Performance-wise, um, it wasn't too strong. I mean, um, I was able to smell it even though I was sick. Um, which is good, but I don't think it lasted very long. I don't think it lasted more than about five hours, maybe six. Um, so, that was that. That was the first time I melted that one. And um, I also, uh, at bedtime, I melted one of these Pink Sugar Serene Water and Rainforest Sugar Cane from Sassy Girl Aroma. This was a really nice, fresh, relaxing scent. Um, you really get the, um, the w serene waters. It is a little aquatic with the pink sugar. It, it, um, it, it's really relaxing. I don't, I don't really know how to describe, um, let me, let me take a sniff. It was, okay, so yeah, so it is kind of spa-like. I like spa scents. If you don't like spa scents, this is not for you. Um, but it was good. I melted a cube of Go to Sleep from Super Tarts, one of my go-to bedtime blends, um, which is pink sugar blended with our sweet lavender cream, um, a BAM cube of Immortal Child, which is Go to Sleep blended with Happy Birthday, which is strawberry cake. Because I've been sick, I melted some of um, Super Tart's Middle Earth, which is dirt, rosemary, and fresh mint leaf. And also, I melted snow, which is spearmint and mac apple. I did this one at bedtime one night because it was, you know, with the congestion and whatnot. Surprisingly, I didn't lose my sense of smell, so I was able to smell everything, which is a good thing. Um, this one is so good. Uh, do you guys remember the Wrigley's Spearmint Gum, like, from back in the day? I don't even know if they sell it anymore. I know they still have, like, Double Mint, Winter Fresh, um, Big Red, but there was the White Pack, which was Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. This is what this smells like with a, um, you know, a little bit of Mac Apple in the background. I really like this one. I don't know why I don't melt it more often. By the way, if you're curious what I have on my nails, there's a little bit of tip wear because I've had it on for a while. It's OPI in Jinx. This is when um, the liquid sands. So it is textured. I was being lazy one night and I wanted to do my nails without having to deal with base coat and top coat and all that good stuff. So that's that. It's not necessarily a fall color, but... It's a good uh, summer to bring out the end of, um, oh, it's a good color to celebrate the end of summer. I think I said that right now. Gosh, don't mind me. I'm, I'm still all medicated and all duped up. Uh, let's see. Sticking with super tarts, I melted a cube of Blanche in my bathroom. So good. I put it on yesterday morning. And it's still going today strong, too. 
Um, by the day, by the way, today is Monday, September 11th. Um, if any of you guys are out there in the Florida area, um, Georgia, or down south in general on the East Coast, dealing with um, Hurricane Irma, um, I do pray for you guys um, that you have, you know, no injury, minimal damage. I know there's been a lot of wreckage, a lot of flooding. Um, I have a lot of people down in Florida. You know, I didn't really sleep last night at all. I was kind of glued to... Um, weather coverage pretty much all night my mom my stepdad are in and my aunt are in tampa i have my sister in jacksonville with her husband and her kids i have my brother with his wife in orlando and their kids as well as a lot of cousins and and whatnot so you know i you know i was kind of sick with worry i'm glad that the hurricane has been downgraded um, from category three down to category one now it's going into a tropical storm status i believe that in no way negates the danger that it can put people in though and um i'm praying for you all you know that you can get back to some type of normalcy soon um the same goes for the people that are still dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. Um, having said that, let me let me go on. Um, I don't want to keep going because I can talk forever about you know my loved ones, but um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna keep going with the clams. I melted a cube in my kitchen and living room of wild berry cheesecake this smells so freaking good i love it but i did notice even in my low um glade I, the the newer one i believe it's 12 or 13 watts it's scorched so i had to drink some water it left a scorch mark that i had to kind of scrub out of the dish after i changed this out um but th i mean this Oh, God, it just smells so good that I'm willing to scrub the dish every time I use that. I don't care. All for the sake of smell goods. Um, this morning, I put on sweet candied apples. This is oh, so... Oh, it smells so good. It has that initial sweet candy scent. That, you know, like the picture of a candied apple. Um, and you also get the juicy, crisp apple from when you bite into a candied apple. You know, the candy mixes with the juice from the apple. And um, it's this is really good. I have it on. It's a, it's a good, strong one, too. I have it in my kitchen and living room this morning. And um, it's still going. It's about 12 some odd. I don't know what time it is. It's after t almost either after or almost 12. Yeah, who cares? All right. I melted another small cube of this Bath and Body Works Bergamot Waters. I really like this one. Um, it's a good, clean, manly scent. Um, I mean, I really don't know what else to say. I know Bath and Body Works has the candle on sale now for like twelve, twelve fifty, or twelve twenty five. Um, it was in the, it was going on in their fifty percent off over the weekend. I don't know if it's still on sale, but um, this was one of them, and I was seriously considering um, taking a ride down to the mall to go pick it up. Um, but I thought better of it, you know, I have to kind of save my money right now. Um, you know, my daughter's birthday is next month and we got a plan for that. Uh, we only paid our deposit on the place, but we need to pay off for the rest of the party. She's turning seven, so she kind of knows what she wants and she's pretty much made her demands. I melted another chunk of this um, 
Biolage Trichomania from Mimi's Tarts. Um, if you're curious as to why I leave it in the dish, is that as this pair, I guess it happens with a lot of the parasoys I noticed, if it's a higher soy content, the wax tends to get softer with age. And if I were to chunk this up and throw it in the bag, they'd all get just, it just turned into a big mess. It sticks to each other, like with the next one I'm going to show you. Um, but the scent is so good. Clean shampoo scent. It's not overwhelmingly um, shampooy where it's it's going to bother your nose or give you that tickle or a headache. I just, um, it's just a really good bathroom scent. Um, you know, I probably have like five more uses out of this since I do have a small, um, plug-in warmer in my bathroom, but I will, you know, this will probably, this will stay in my rotation until it's gone. It's about, what are we in September? So it's between nine and 10 months old. And I mean, you can tell that the wax is pretty soft and smishy. <clears throat> And, like, this is, like, what I was talking about. If you chunk up the, the loaf, but you don't use it and it gets old, it just sticks to itself. So, you know, it's really soft um, and a little messy. However, the performance and the scent is still amazing. This is Booberry Candy Fluff Lemon Pound Cake from Mimi's Tarts. This was a custom loaf that I ordered all the way back in 2015. It's still performing very well. It's just a little soft and um, mushy, but I'm going to keep melting it down until it's gone. Um, just because, you know, I don't, I don't really don't want to hold on to it considering I'm kind of pushing it. It is getting older. I don't want the performance to start lagging. this off to the side here I melted one of these grubby pies from sassy girl aroma in orange chiffon cake um, I cut it in half and I put one piece in my living room and one piece in my kitchen since they're two rooms right next to each other um, sorry I almost knocked over my water the two rooms right next to each other with an open doorway. There's no door separating, so it's kind of like an open concept. And then the stairs to upstairs. Um, this unwarm, it smelled like a true to self orange scent. Like if you cut into an orange and you sniffed it, it smelled like that with bakery in the background. I would say it did evolve with time um a few hours after i threw it in you got less of the orange and more of the bakery but it was it was good it was like oh god like one of those like orange like an orange cake um i forget what it's called but well orange chiffon cake i'm i'm pretty sure that's what it's called um and it was really delicious. I put this on in um, around 6 or 7 o'clock in the evening. And the next morning I woke up, it was still going with more of just a cakey note. So, I mean, the orange chiffon kind of burned off. And it left behind a nice um, bakery warm cake scent. I melted a pan chunk of Good Witch from Super Tarts in my bathroom. This is, um, oh gosh, what is this? Magically Delicious and White Clouds. Um, this is hella strong and hella good. It lasted like, it went into a third day in my bathroom and, you know, it was still going when I emptied it out. I just, I needed a new scent. I melted a um, a piece of this little chunk that I have here. 
from Mimi's in Lemon Cotton Candy Rock Candy. This is also an older one, so you can see how soft it's gotten. Um, but this, oh, this smells so good. And I mean, it's true <laughs> to what you say, what it is. I mean, your immediate note is the cotton candy um, and lemon. That's what you get first. And the rock candy kind of just gives it an extra sweetness. Um, it's, the scent is phenomenal. Um, I think I may try to, um, cook up this blend with other vendors to see what I might get because this is really good. I, I really like this one. Oh, sorry. In my bedroom, I melted a cube of Bella's blood from super tarts uh hmm. <laughs> i know it has pomegranate <laughs> i forgot what else is in it i did know last night when i was planning on doing this video and i didn't get to and um i forgot the scent notes you know it has pomegranate though it's really good it's really juicy <sighs> i think it has pink sugar And maybe some type of citrus? I don't know. Performance-wise, um, it, it was nice and tart and uh, juicy at first. That's all I can tell you because I put it on my bedroom in the morning. And I kind of like left my room for the day when I came back. It was, it was quite light at the end of the day when I came to change it out. So, um... I really, I really couldn't tell you about the performance, um, you know, because I left it going a good 10 hours. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry for coughing. I'm just going through my box here. All right. I melted a cube of Full House. Um, in my bedroom, that is a really nice bakery scent. Um, I don't know why I keep associating Full House with a clean, like, laundry scent that's not in there. I just hear the name and then I associate it with, um, the dad on the show, Full House. I forget his name already. I mean, I watched it for many, many years. And I can't even think of his name. Um, <laughs> I'll never forget Uncle Jesse, though. But anyways, it's a nice bakery set. I know it has sugar cookie in it. I don't exactly know the scent, um, all of the scent notes. Um, but it was a really nice scent. It was a really nice blend. Um, kind of comforting. Um, especially on one of these colder days. You know, kind of fills the house and well the room I won't say it filled the whole house um and uh you know it's kind of nostalgic of you know being a kid and your mom's baking cookies or something I melted a little um a quarter of this fluted tart from old primitive treasures in my bathroom of pink chiffon um i mean what can you say pink chiffon is pink chiffon um it was really nice it lasted long um nothing really special about pink chiffon on its own i know it's a good blender um it's a nice scent but i mean it's pink chiffon it's in a lot of stuff I melted, um, I had a half of this little mini bunt, um, left over in here of Rainbow Melt Bake the Cake, which is buttery cake, sweet berries, and lemon cream, and I melted, did I, did I blend this one? Oh, shucks, did I? I don't remember exactly. I think I melted this with... A, pea, uh, um, a piece of these mini melters from Rose Girls Marshmallow Smoothie. Yeah, I put these two together. 
and the scent was so freaking good i i need to get more of this and a bag of these marshmallow smoothie mini melters hopefully she still has them available from rose girls and just keep blending it or make my own blend um request because this was phenomenal oh my gosh the berries and the bakery scent in this bake the cake is amazing and that marshmallow just creamed it out so well i loved it i have this scent shot in oh my tarts evil marshmallow peeps um i just want you to look at this you see all that big glitter it's also i don't know if you can tell it's also inside the melt. The scent is really good. I don't know what's in it other than, of course, marshmallow. It is um, a very sweet scent. I kind of smell pink sugar in this. I'm... I do. I, I mean, I did. I never looked this up. I've never heard of Oh My Tarts. I never looked them up. But I think I'm going to because this sucker was strong and it threw. And um, I actually got this as a sample in my old Primitive Treasures order. Um, she threw this in there as a freebie. So I'm really grateful um, to get to know different vendors when you're ordering from another vendor so i think that was really cool uh of lara and um i'm gonna have to look them up because th this was really good the only thing i didn't like was that that glitter gave me a hell of a time of getting out of my warmer i mean i do hot dumps or i cotton ball my warmer so i don't have to wait for them to harden put it in the freezer that i not no, i want to change it out one two three so I cotton ball if I can hot dump and that glitter just did not want to come out. I literally had to lift the dish scorching hot and wipe out the glitter because it was annoying the hell out of me. But it did look pretty. I melted um, the scent shot um, in my kitchen and living room on Sunday morning. Snicker bombs. It's a nice coffee scent. Um, let's see, Snicker Bombs from the Joe Dirt edition. It says, wake up with a coffee and sugar type of morning. Really good. It lasted long. It was amazing. And it, it really was a nice, sweet scent i melted this sample in my bedroom of it's always tea time which is earl gray tea cakes peppermint swizzle sticks and whipped cream and it was nice i i liked it the peppermint was it smelled like a really good peppermint tea that was sweetened um wonderberry dizzy donuts i had two heart tarts in here um jelly glazed donuts i think that's cotton candy frosting I, would, I, th I thought maybe at first it was cream cheese, but I smelled cotton candy in it and whipped cream. Um, on cold, it was light, but it smelled nice and warm. I got absolutely nothing. Uh, my daughter melted dandy in her room. Um, I think it has cherry in it, maybe pistachio. I don't know. It wasn't my cup of tea. I can't really tell you what it smelled like because I put it on and I left her room. Rainbow melts last night. I put this, um, it was a bunny rabbit. I cut it in half. I put uh, half in my living room, half in my kitchen. Blueberry muffin waffle cone, and that was a very nice blueberry bakery scent. I had two band pieces of fake and bake, um, from Super Tarts. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't even rave enough. If you like bakery scents. You have to. If you've not tried it, you have to, have to, have to try Fake and Bake. It is amazing. It's, you know, a lot of people rave about it. 
Be, but, you know, it's not just a craze. It's actually that good. Um, vintage Chic Scents uh, Jackson, which is Blueberry Cobbler Pie Crust. Another nice Blueberry Bakery scent. Um, it was just, uh, I mean, I had um, one of the small medallions. It wasn't even the whole thing. Maybe I needed all of it because it did not throw very long. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, and the last melt. I'm sorry. I'm rushing through this. I'm babysitting. My niece is taking a nap. And I just want to get this done before she wakes up. I have a couple other videos to put. Um, vid uh, oh my gosh. To record. But let me just tell you about Vintage Road Candles. Cranberry Orange Spice Cake. It's cranberry, blood orange, goji berries, gingerbread, strudel, and spice. This is like the epitome of the transition into fall. This was so delicious. The spices and the citrus and the cake blended so well together. I was amazed at how much I liked this. And this was just a small square, like a slice off of one of her chunks. I would say maybe half of an ounce maybe was in here. And this sucker threw like a boss. Like, you cannot say anything bad about this at all. It threw, I mean, it threw amazingly. I smelt it all throughout my house, literally. I only had this in the living room on because it was, you know, just a small piece. It filled my living room. It filled my kitchen. It came up the stair hallway and I smelled it in my bedroom. Like, literally... This is a 10 out of 10, the bomb. I love Vintage Road Candles. I've placed two orders so far. I'm waiting for one to come in. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited to get it. You know what? I'm lying to you right now. I'm not waiting for it to come in. It's, <laughs> it's next to me in a box because it's waiting for me to record it. You see? I... My memory is shot to shit. Let me tell you people. Horrible. I'm 34 going on 74, really. But yes, if you like strong, in-your-face, spicy citrus goodness, this is for you. Her wax, let me, I would say, is a little softer. As you can see, you know, it leaves the residue in the bag and it kind of sticks to itself. So I think it is um, more soy in it, but amazing. I mean, I guess I really did save the best for last because this was my favorite of the month. And I, um, I wish I ordered this in my second order that's waiting for me to record. I, I, you know, I melted the sample after I placed that order and I'm just, I'm so sad that I don't have any more. I'm going to have to go back in at some point. Um, maybe get my swag bucks up so I can place an order for some cranberry orange spice cake. Um, I really do recommend this. I'm blabbing. I'm just going on and on and on. And I haven't been able to really talk too much all week. So I'm just going to keep going now. Um, well, I really don't want to bore you with my, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, I want to thank you so much, so, so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, I really do enjoy making these videos. And I, you know, I don't make them for really anyone to watch it. I, you know, I just enjoy it. Um, and I just want to share my experiences with you guys. But, I mean, I'm actually amazed, like, that people actually watch my stuff. Like they sit here and listen to me blab on. And and you guys are awesome. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Some of you are YouTubers yourself. And let me tell you, I probably follow you. And I watch every single one of your videos. I can sit here and freaking binge watch a channel from beginning to end. Because I love it so much. Um, I have a few favorites. I'm not going to name them, though. <laughs> um, 
but I just I want to say thank you thank you thank you so much for watching and if you're new um or if you have not subscribed and you do um you know like my videos like to hear me ramble on hit the subscribe button hit the like button and I'm glad to have you all right bye bye